Hi, welcome back to Panda Reacts. I'm Sandra, and today is Saturday, which means it's Clone Wars Day, and I'm on Season 1, Episode 15. So last time we were on Clone Wars, um, it was the end of a two-parter with the Lermans. Um, so they, they were a lemur people that were living a peaceful life. But then, of course, the Jedi showed up because they were stranded on that island, and the lemur leader wasn't too happy about that. He did not want to be involved in anything to do with their war. So, of course, that meant that the Separatists had to show up, and it was some guy, Durd, was it Locke Durd was his name, and he was there to test this horrific weapon that basically destroyed all organic matter except for machines. It was like a very dark episode for a cartoon. This was this was a weapon of mass destruction that could destroy anything, any living life form at all. So he decided that he was going to trust it on this Lerman colony because, you know, who cares about them, apparently. Luckily, Anakin and Ahsoka were there. He hadn't counted on any Jedis. And the Jedis, along with some of the younger Lerman, uh, destroyed the weapon and saved the day. So that was pretty good. And at the very end, we just saw the Rebel Alliance kind of coming to save or to pick up Ahsoka and Anakin and Aaliyah, I think her name was, the other Jedi. Anyway, I'm really excited to see what episode 15 brings, so let's get started. Trespass. All right. Yoda. Chuchi, I suggest you wait here until we can secure the area. I respect your judgment, General Kenobi, but I will go where I choose. The oh. sovereign Pantora territory. I'll go where I want. This planet was uninhabited, and therefore it's not aligned. This wasteland belongs to us. Oh. With all due respect, Chairman. Fighting over who who this place belongs to. Oh, we got some clone trooper Matt on spikes. Very Mandalorian. Must be separatists. I am not sure. Hmm. Sir, our scouts have spotted a droid base on the other side of the ice ridge. Well, did you people scout this place out? First of all, it belongs to someone. Second of all, there's droids on it. So, what is going on here? Why are you, why are you even here? Uh, that's creepy. Oh, and their heads are on spikes too. This is someone who likes to put heads on spikes. Sounds like a good place to start. <laughs> no, it doesn't. Sounds like the opposite of good place to start. The weapon system back online and the were not consistent with what so, you're an expert on war now, are you, Senator? Hey. No, Chairman. I have led our people since before you were born. I've seen a hundred planets rise and fall through force of arms. Okay, we get it. You think you're great. Out there that it's a malevolent and aggressive Senator, I am willing to fight and die for my people. It's time to ask yourself if you are brave enough to do the same. Excuse me. Don't you question my drive. So anyone else figured out that Pantora is close to Pandora, which was this, the planet they used in Avatar with all the blue people? Because I kind of already put that together. They know. Oh, it's the sand people of the, of the snow planet. Whoa. That's nothing to mess with. So you're all arguing about whether this is your place. It only belongs to these people. Oh, it's those... It's those guys from the cantina. The furry guys with the, like, little straw mouths. Yeah, I've seen those guys. Those are, they've been in the cantina. Oh, those are droid. Nice. Yeah, draw. Good job, Anakin. Peace. Well, these, these people just want to keep their planet. Aww. Got big hugs. Maybe it's the blue people that they don't like. History of Pantora. No one lives here. They are trespassers. No, they're not. With respect, Chairman Joe. Whoever they are, they belong to us. This whole system belongs to us. No, it does. You... If there are... Must be subdued. I don't the like you, blue man. We I feel like you're no Thanos. Is in doubt. 
Do you stand against your chairman, Senator? Yeah, I totally do. If we are going to meet with Ty Senator. Guess what, blue dude? Your decisions are pretty crappy. No matter what the chairman thinks, yeah. we're not going to war. Yeah. Good, Anakin. You're not a jerk this episode. I appreciate it. Captain, put your men on that ice ridge. We will attack as soon as the savages arrive. No, you're not attacking. No, attack, no. You will do as I command. No. Is under my I'm doing nothing that you nothing say. Is under your control. Be good neighbors, but he does not wish you to remain on his planet. Yep. Listen, Droid. Translate everything I say. No. And exactly as I say it. No. Would you like me to represent Pentor? Chairman, I promised the Tals that we would leave them in peace. Yes. This is now an internal affair of Pantora. Which you screwed up. <laughs> Completely. Protect him at all costs. No. Don't protect him. Senator, hold your respect. We're only here to protect you. Yeah, we're not firing anything. You're on your own. We're not here to fight your war. We're not your soldiers. Get him. Take out the chairman. Uh, yeah, we can. You started this this stupid. Oh, good. Did you get him? I hope that guy's dead. He's an idiot. It is decided then. Pilot, let's get moving. Well, let's see. He already did attack them, so I'm not sure how easy that's gonna be. Cause he started being dumb. It is your people the Tals are at war with. Yeah, not the us. Violence is to stop. It is you who must represent your people. Yeah, don't pass the buck here, lady. It's your job. You gotta fix it. Oh no, why are you still alive? Die, you dumb dumb. Yeah, look what this. Look what your dumb chairman did. You okay, Rex? The dead, the rest wounded, including the chairman. Well, I was hoping he was dead, but, you know. Died for our people. You died for your own pride. You didn't die for anything. Why do you have a weapon? Put your weapon down. He didn't want to fight in the first place. Oh, of course. Thanks, we kind of were here first, and we didn't really need your permission to be here, but thank you for your kind words as we walk away. Alright, that was episode 15, and uh, it was kind of a bizarre episode, kind of a one-off. Um, I'm not sure how much I liked it, to be perfectly honest. So basically, the Jedis were going to check out this planet. They were coming down with them. The people that lived nearby on a, on another moon, the Pantorans, um, pen, it, from Pantora, which they were blue. Um, and if anyone's ever watched Avatar, Pandora is the planet that the Avatarians are on, and they are blue, and... Uh, not a stretch there, just a change of one letter in the word. But this chairman guy, who apparently was the king because they called him Majesty, um, he he was first to convince that the uh, that all the carnage that they found was created by the separatists. But then then they found out the separatists bunker was also destroyed. The Jedi's Obi Wan and and Anakin, Ahsoka wasn't in this one. Um, went to find out who had caused all the trouble and it was the people called the Tals. And these were people we'd seen in the Star Wars Cantina on Tatooine. Um, they were like Yeti, Yeti creatures, those the big white fluffy guys with the big eyes and then they had like a little straw kind of coming out of their mouth. Um, a wibbly straw, almost like a turkey but um, straw shaped. I'd seen those guys in the in the um, first ever Star Wars in the Cantina. So um familiar creatures they all they wanted was peace they didn't like they'd been attacked by the droids 
and the Alliance base had just been attacked because uh, they were in the middle of it. But um, the, the Jedi's made peace with these guys and everything was cool. And then the chairman was like, no, this is our planet. We claim this planet. We're gonna, they, they don't deserve here. We're gonna kick them off the planet, even though they were here first. This guy would not listen to any reason. He just wanted a war. He wanted to kick these inferior beings off of his planet. So, of course, he went and, you know, used 3PO to say some mean things to to the, the king of the creatures and started a war, a completely useless war. He didn't even have an, an army to fight this war. He was being protected by the clone troopers who were kind of forced to fight for him in order to protect him when he only had like two blue sidekicks. Everybody died pretty much except for a couple of clone troopers. I was kind of sad to see that the chairman got just injured. He died later and was like all mad because the senator was gonna, had called his actions out of order and was gonna broker peace with the creatures and they're like, he's like, no, I fought for all of you. No, you didn't. You fought for your own pride, your own stupidity. These people didn't want to fight you. They were totally into peace. It was the stupidest thing. So to me, this one was kind of like um, just a huge pride issue with this one dumb guy. And I, I you know, it's, it's just not one of my favorite episodes. It, it did have, you know, an obvious uh, moral you know, don't be a jerk and start a war with peaceful people. You get your butt kicked, and he did. But at the same time, I was like, what is going on here? What is the point of this episode? So not, um, I'm not, I'm not too pleased with this episode. It had a very Hoth vibe. It was very cold. They were looking to make a base, I think. I still wasn't even sure what the heck the point of it was that they were on that planet. I guess they were... Uh, protecting the chairman because he was going down there to scout the planet out and check on some bases. There were already bases there and claim the planet for himself, not really his people as he claimed to do. So, and I was misled. The um, intro showed a picture of Yoda's face and there was no Yoda in this entire episode. So what was that about? Don't give me Yoda face and then not give me Yoda. That's not fair. I, false advertising, I claim, false advertising. So, anyway, um, if you like my reactions, please subscribe and check out my other Clone War reactions. And if uh, you like some of the other shows that I react to, please check those out too. And until next Saturday, bye.